Hi, I'm Bill Moore, and I'm on a mission to bring alpha to your trading through the power of relative value analysis. If you're looking for more candlestick patterns, then go look someplace else. But if you're ready to start trading like a professional, stick around. So we went back to some of our old favorites, the 11 baskets, the uh, components of the sector ETFs. And we ran it with a bunch of filters because there's a whole lot of products there. 0.8 correlation, 0.8 RW coefficient, has to be at least one and a quarter standard deviations from the mean, a minimum of three winners previously and 5% up or down minimum expectation value. When we did that, we didn't get as many as yesterday. I don't know if you, were, if you watched yesterday's video, but we had perhaps twice as many results yesterday. So one, one day does make quite a difference here. But going through this one, the one I want to take a look at is here. Very nice looking. 0.96 correlation, 0.88 RDB coefficient, six previous winners. So it looks very good. Let's look at it in the uh, more detailed analysis. So it, it's, it is interesting because we saw a little bit of this yesterday. This is a perfect picture. And up here, this is a pretty strong picture as well. But clearly there was a, a shift. Now that, that, that would have been all, absolutely amazing, right, to get in here and ride this thing up. But uh, in any case, with even with that, I think there's plenty of room to make money from where it's at. Uh, the, the mean is moving up to this area, so probably the mean is actually a reasonable target, although you know we might shift it up just a little bit here. But uh, overall, that's a very good looking picture. The back test is a perfect record, has a, has a perfect track record, right? It's been outside the second standard deviation seven times. It has returned profitably to the mean six, and it, the seventh one is the one that's currently open, with which we are going to try to make a little bit of money. So let's add this to the observe page. So no surprises here. Again, if we, you know, sort of chop the, uh, the chart from here, look at it over, we would say that's a perfect picture. It is at its peak. It did come down a little bit today. So tomorrow, uh, keep an eye. And if it looks like it's continuing that process, then it might be time to jump into this. So let's take a look at the hitting probabilities. A solid mean reversion tendency here. We'll put the uh, Monte Carlo simulation on 10,000 iterations. And it's saying we're going to be below the the current price, right? The current price is 14.66. Um, we're going to be below that 81% of the time in 30 days. Now, that's not as strong of a number as we see sometimes, but you know, 81% is still is still solid. The target price is the mean 5.84. As we were looking at it a minute ago, we might think of putting this closer to eight instead of 5.84. But at 5.84, it says we're going to get there half the time in 52 bars, the mode being 25. Let's look at it on 8 and see what we can get here. So that drops the, the uh, time to get there in th down to 35 half the time, and the mode being 16. So overall, I think these are, are very acceptable numbers. Let's go back one more time and take a quick gander at the detail page. So it's JPM, JP Morgan versus Schwab. SCHW, the ratio we're, we're talking about is 2.17. It's got a correlation of 0.96, RW coefficient of 0.88. These are great numbers and a perfect, perfect track record. It is outside the second standard deviation. It's kind of at a peak and it did begin a move down today, but let's see what it starts, uh, what it looks like early in the morning tomorrow. But overall, this is going to be the recommendation. JP Morgan, JPM minus 2.17 of SCHW. It is a short. So for every share of JPM that you sell, you're going to buy 2.17 shares of SCHW. Good luck with your trading.